They say you'll never forget your first time, but I can tell you I'll never forget my first times because I was lucky enough to have many times with the same person who I knew as a friend and we shared a lot of things in common and I was very lucky that at the age of 13 I was able to have a sexual relationship with somebody who wasn't just some stupid little kid in my in my school class because that never would have worked. I feel like I was very very lucky to be able to have sexual relationships when I was with thir when I was 13 with somebody who was much older than me. Not because of some stupid ideology or not because any other stupid ideas that people might have or you know assumptions or whatever or cultural ideas you know I'm not going to get into the whole debate about age of consent because that's that's all bullshit that's arbitrary it doesn't make any sense when you can go to one country and the age of consent is 13 and you go to a whole other country and the age of consent is like 21 it just makes no absolutely no sense it's all bullshit you know for me 13 was the right age it, I could have been a little bit younger but still I was lucky enough that I was able to develop sexually um, at a good time when I had enough brain development left in my head where I could actually experience very very strong orgasms and my brain was able to make the connections to a a enable me to have the right the proper type of orgasm I'm talking about penetration I had very strong orgasms through penetration and I was lucky that that my boyfriend at the time was not s some stupid little kid you know and that he never did the oral sex on me I'm very thankful he never did oral sex on me because I I'm glad my brain didn't develop in that way to um, begin to learn oral sex to enjoy oral sex I'm glad I never did that um, if that's even possible so I don't know maybe for me I don't think oral sex ever would have been a possibility because I've always been very, very sensitive and for me oral sex can be quite painful because I am that sensitive and I have a very large uh, clit, more than average and um, you know that has a little bit to do with it but more importantly it's because um, it's not exposed, my clit's not exposed in any way so it, it doesn't get calloused in any way and I don't callous it in any way that how most people do callous themselves um, if you can imagine like um, we're talking like you know constant rubbing and shit I don't do that I don't I don't rub or what people might say wipe with a corrosive you know paper um, you know with bleach on it and shit uh, all paper is corrosive when it comes to the genitals I don't do that shit so we're talking like um, mostly just you know I have a bidet or you know something like that if I don't want to smell like urine down there I just wash it off with water I don't use paper I mean I don't even honestly I don't even like to use paper on my ass because all that does is smear the shit around you know I always wash off after I shit I always rinse off I have a type of bidet that I use I, I just actually I just squat in the tub um, it's easy for me because I'm home a lot so yeah and anyway to get back to the boyfriend thing I feel extremely lucky that I was able to, to have incredibly strong orgasms and you know I think I have a feeling I think that if I'd never met him that it would probably have been at least like maybe another four or five years or something until I actually was able to experience sex because at that time 
in school, in my classroom, no guy was really interested in me. They All they did was call me names all the time, you know, like Bucky Beaver or Toothpick or something like that. I was really skinny and my teeth, you know, were quite long. I was quite long. They call it long in the tooth, I guess. I don't know. Like, oh, you know, very, very toothy. So, yeah, I don't know. It wasn't that bad, but still I was made fun of a lot. No guy, like I said, no guys were ever interested in me. Believe me, none of them were. And I was quite interested in quite a few guys, but they didn't like me for some reason. But the 23-year-old, my boyfriend, he never called me names. He never even noticed my teeth. And we had a lot of things in common. We enjoyed riding horses together. Uh, I had a horse. He worked at a ranch. I worked at the same ranch. You know, um, everything. We enjoyed the same music. Um, he was going to actually teach me how to play piano. He knew how to play piano, but he worked at the ranch and he lived there and, you know, he didn't have a piano there. But anyway, I'm not going to make a long story short. I'm just saying I feel extremely lucky that I was able to experience extremely good, strong orgasms and that my brain was able to develop to a point where it made the synapsis connection to, to have an, um, you know, orgasms through penetration. So yeah, um, I think the reason why, this is a theory of mine, I think the reason why a lot of women say they can't uh, orgasm through orgasm through normal penetration through sex and why they need you know their clits stimulated to have an orgasm is because that's the way their brains develop because for one for one um, you know like I like I'm trying to say what I don't but I don't think anyone hears me I could probably say it until I'm blue in the face I could probably say this a hundred times but you know what I honestly do believe is because if you don't have sex at the right age, meaning as your brain is still developing, then it becomes too late. You know, like as if, as the saying goes, use it or lose it. So yeah, I think a lot of women have sex way too late in the game and their brains don't develop in that way to have uh, orgasms through penetration because nature is like, what's going on here? I'm developing breast, I got uh, a period, and nobody's having oral, um, nobody's having, uh, you know, um, se normal sex with me. I mean, this is nature speaking, you know, so the brain's all like, wonder what's going on, you know, I'm ready for sex, I'm, you know, I'm 12, I'm 13, I'm having a period, and nobody's having sex with me, I wonder why not. Okay, well, that part of the brain, I guess it's not needed. Goodbye.